Hi again, everyone. Uh, my name is Andres. I'm part of the Android team. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about geospatial considerations in the Android application mainly. So, as you know, we have ways to capture coordinates in the HIS2 um, in, different, in different concepts. No? One is the track entity instance. The, the other one is in enrollments, in events or program stages, data elements or attributes, and in all units, which is not supported visualization in, in Android. Uh, the, the first and main thing in order to, to be able to capture uh, coordinates and geospatial uh, information is to enable the location in the device. Uh, it can be like super obvious, but it's important to, to make it clear because for some time for privacy motive, we, we have it like disabled. So it's important. The way we can capture uh, coordinates are two in the, in the Android app. The first one is via po polygons, which is the representation of an area. In, defined by several coordinates, okay? As you can see in the, in the screenshot, you can define a coordinate via some, uh, uh, an area, sorry, via, via, via some coordinates. And it's the way we can uh, set a, an, an area. Uh, the other one is a, is a geographic point, okay? A lat long, as like a single coordinate, which is the most used for, for track entity instance. Okay, in order to explain all the possibilities that we have, uh, we were thinking in a use case, okay? A pretty actual use case, let's say, which is the COVID-19 contact registration and follow-up. So let's do a, an example with all the possibilities in this program. You can see it in your, in your uh, home screen in the Android application. So you will see a COVID-19 content registration and follow-up program. So for this, uh, for the track entity instance, the coordinate could be where does the, the person live, okay? So we are going to, to capture the coordinates where the person actually resides. For the enrollment, uh, is, for example, uh, where did the person enter in the program? Let's say the facility or the hospital where the person was detected by COVID-19. For the program stage or the event, we, we create one program stage called, called follow-up. And the coordinate could be where is the person being followed up? Because imagine that you have been enrolled in a hospital, but then you are followed up in a a small facility or, or a different place than the, than the hospital where you enter in the program. The data element, uh, we, uh, we have called it a first contact. Uh, it's related uh, to where was the first contact? I mean, where did you get infected, let's say, or, or you think that you get infected? Uh, well, let's summarize before. Um, that's it. That is more or less the, the, the different coordinates we're going to capture for this use case in order to, to show you how, how can be different users. No? Track, let's repeat. Track entity instance, where does the person lives? The enrollment, where did the person enter in the program? The program stage is going to be the follow-up, which is where you are being followed up. And the data attribute, the data element, sorry, is going to be the first contact. Where did you get infected or where was the first contact you think you might have with a COVID-19 positive? So let's go one by one. For the track and sitting instance, which as you remember is where does the person live? In the servers, you have to go to maintainer, track entity type, and in the track entity type person, which is the, the track entity type for our program, you have to select in the feature type if you want point or polygon, okay? Remember that the point is a single coordinate and the polygon is a set of coordinates which uh, define an area. So let's think in a point. So 
uh, you will see in your in your in the Android application, you will see a, a field called uh, coordinates for person, which is of type polling point. Okay, so you see the latitude and the and the longitude. You will see three points, no? Uh, starting for for the left, uh, the first one is related to to select your current location. So if you tap on it, you will register a latitude and a coordinate, a latitude and longitude where you are currently at. The second one is the selection in a in a map. So you will be um, moved to another screen when in a map focused in your current location where you can select a, a point. And the third one is the next, which is to clear the, the field. So this is the way you can um, register a, a coordinate for a, a track entity instance. Next one, enrollment. For the enrollment, uh, if you remember, is where did the person enter in the program? We have to go in the server to maintenance, tracker program, our, our COVID-19 program. In the enrollment details, you will see the feature type option. And again, you have to select if you want none or if you want to, to have a coordinate like we are doing in this use case, you can select point or polygon. So you will see in the in, in the Android application, you will see in the register data um, coordinates for the enrollment. Okay, so below you will have the, the coordinates where do you are going to enter where the person were registered, where was registered. Okay, for program stage or events, um, which is, for example, where is the person being followed up? The same. Uh, you have to go to the server to maintain us, and in the tracker program, you will you will go to the to the program stage section, and then in the stage details you have the feature type. And again, you select point or polygon or none. So for the, in this case, uh, you will see it uh, in the Android application inside the, um, the program state. So if you can see here on the right, you will see the follow, follow up program stage and a field with is asking you the latitude and the longitude, okay? And again, you have the same option, the map, the coordinates and the clear. For data elements or attributes, in this, in our use case, is going to be an attribute. Uh, where was the first contact? Okay, so we are going to create a, a track entity attribute called first contact coordinates, and the value type is coordinate. Yeah, okay, so for this, in in the Android application, what you are going to see is a, a field called first contact coordinates. Um, and the same, you you will have the opportunity to enter a single coordinate or select within a map. Okay, the org unit um, attribute, okay, is using the org unit instead of the coordinate to locate the, the, the patient. So for here, uh, we have to create a track entity attribute and use the value type the organization unit, okay? And then if you add um, the type to the program, you will see that you can serve by organization unit, your location. Okay, let's see how this in information that we are uh, capturing in the Android application is being visualized in the Android application as well. Uh, as I said before, the org unit is not uh, supported for the Android application for visualization. So for track entity instance, well, first of all, let's see how, how we are seeing the coordinates um, in a map. So if you enter in your, to, you, to, you, the, to the COVID-19 contract registration program, you will see uh, by default a list of your track entity instance. And in the bottom, you can see Two, two options. The one on the left that is selected, which is the list, and the second one is the map icon. You tap on the map icon, what you are going to see is the same list of track entity instance, but positioned in, a, in the map, okay? 
the position in the map is the, the coordinate that we enter for the track entity instance. And then you will see at the bottom of the map a carousel where you can uh, swipe and the map is going to be centered, centering in the different track entity instance you are, you are selecting. So set that. Um, for the track entity instance, okay, we have the, uh, sorry, okay. We have the, the map layer, which is the, the icon on the top right, when we will see, then we have the current position. We have the option to navigate to, to the position. And then we have the, the carousel. Okay, when you can navigate um, across the, the TAIs and the events. Okay, the map layer, the first button. The map layer uh, has different options and is the way that you configure what you are seeing in the, in the map. Okay, so the first thing you will see is the, the, the option to see the, the map layer, the street view or the satellite view. Okay, I think you, you are familiar with this because that is very common in all the map applications. Then you will see the option to show the TAI, which is selected by default. This is the coordinate of the TI in the map. The second option is, the, is to show the enrollment coordinates in the map. If you remember, is the where, where does the person, in our use case, where does the person enter in the, in the program? The third option is the follow-up, which is our program stage that we call follow-up. And in our use case is the, where is the person being followed up, followed up, sorry. The fourth option is our data entry attribute, which is the a track entity attribute, sorry, which is the first contact, contact coordinate. And the fifth is the heat map layer. Okay, so the first option, if you select uh, the first option is the satellite or street view, and by selecting this, you will see the, the map well, as a satellite. Uh, as I said before, it's pretty common. The second one is, is the, the attributes. So let, let's say, let's see that we, we selected the first coordinate attribute, first contact coordinates. What we are going to see in the map is the, the coordinates where, where uh, the track the instance were uh, infected, no? or the first time they have the, the contact with a positive. So we will see the map. Then for example, for events, that in our case is the follow-up, we, we are going to see where are this person being following up. No? So as you can see here, we have selected the, the take coordinates and the follow-up, so we are seeing uh, and these are the icons that are showing that the red circle is for the, for example, here in the Super Mario track at the instance, we are going to see that here, um, this is the, the place where the person lives. Um, here is the place where the person is being followed up. Okay, the same for the rest of track at the instance. Um, well, in the next uh, session, we are going to see the relationships between, between the track and the instance in a map. Okay, I am going to show you the, um, I, I'm going to stop to share the screen and I'm going to show you. Andres, there is a question on the, on the, on the chat. What does heat map mean? Okay. Sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm preparing the the mobile. 
Um, yeah, so what well, Andres prepares this, I will answer your question, Hadiha. Uh, the heat map can be used. Uh, it's not very easy to see now. Maybe when Andres presents the, 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 the form, we can see it, but basically is to know heat maps in the sense where do you have the, sorry, I'm gonna put the camera. Where do you have the, the biggest number of occurrences? There, meaning that, for example, imagine you're tracking you're tracking a disease, and with the heat map you can see where more uh, points have been recorded. So basically, when you zoom out, it allows you to see where more cases or more coordinates have been registered. Um, as you see, Andres is doing it, so now it's not very. Um, yeah, if you keep going, you will see that the heat map spreads. This is much better if. Uh, depending on the exercise we Andres proposes, maybe tomorrow we can see, because when you have much many more TIs, it's more clear. Because at one point this will become even reddish. So when you have a lot of points in the same nearby location, it becomes like a glowing. I don't know how to. It's actually a heat map. That's the that's the word. I don't know how to rephrase another language. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, clustering probably. or grouping cases. Yeah, exactly. Morali, thank you very much. Exactly. Or hotspot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for, for, for this example, as we have only three targeted instances, it's, it's not very clarified. But, but yes, tomorrow, we, after the exercise, we can show how, how it looks like. Thank you, Jaime. So, well, um, I'm going to show you more or less what we have. Um, been talking about uh, in order to to later go for the exercise. So so let's more or less start from the beginning. Okay, we have to see in our in our home screen the contact registration and follow up program. If we enter, we will see the list of our track and speed distance. And on the bottom right, we have the the map icon. Okay, so if we go there, we're going to see our track and speed distance selected in the map and then we have the, in the map layer we have this option no? so for example let's say that let's let's see where does the track and distance are being followed up so here in the map we can see that the the location appears okay let's try to for example uh, add also where this person were enrolled in the in the program so we are going to see that they were enrolled in well, in different places, in that case. And for example, where was the first contact? Okay. So yes, it, it looked like the first contact was in the same place. So it's like an indicator of um, a contact, a contact point from COVID, for example, in, in this case. So if we, if we go enter of a drug entity instance, we're going to see in the details. That we have the coordinates for the for the track entity instance, the coordinates for the enrollment. Then in the attributes, we are going to see the first contact coordinates, which is here. And then in the follow-up program, if we go in in the details, which is the first option in the bottom bar, we are going to see the coordinates for the follow-up program stage. And in this way, in this way, we we have all the all the way we can visualize and capture the um, the coordinates for for the for the Android application. Now, if you want, we can talk about the the exercises. So, uh, the well, we are going to have a little bit more more time, but the session should be fifteen minutes. What you should do now uh, by the end of the session is to how to add coordinates in a track and in the instance, how to visualize the GPS coordinates in the app, and how to use the different map layers. Okay, I have just well, I didn't add a, a track and city instance, but for sure you you know how to do it. If not, we are here to help. And then I have just shown how to visualize the coordinates and how to use the, the map layers. Um, okay, so what you have to do is to enter three cases in your country or city with different with different locations to, to don't see one on top of the other. Uh, 
the data entry on a shared program, which is the, the content uh, COVID-19 content registration and follow-up, which you should see in your home screen in the app. You need to add a picture to the image attribute. Um, you can take a photo or take it from the gallery. It doesn't have to be a, a person or, or what can be whatever image you want. And in that way, we are going to be able to visualize the, the three track entity instance in the, in the map, okay? Then you need to sync your cases with the, with the server. For the submission, what you need to do is to take three screenshots of the, of the map showing the three track entity instance card in the carousel. So, for example, let's go here and let's remove the coordinates for, for the rest, only track entity instance, no? So, for example, you can do a screenshot here for Super Mario, a screenshot here for Sonic, and then another one here for Rock Android. Okay. And then one screenshot, screenshot where all are visible, like for example, this. Well, uh, I think if you have any doubt, I'm going to, to be aware about the chat and the Slack. I can keep showing the slide in order to see to you for you to see what you have to do. I'm going to share the slide. Okay, and that's it. Uh, we are here to help to help you. Thank you.